Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today we are going to work on the 2020 Prius Prime. Yesterday we did the Hellcat. We put the seatbelts from CFL Planet into the Hellcat. They look amazing. Today I'm going to start with that long list of mods I shared with you in one of the last videos. And we're going to start putting in the speaker system, the stereo system. So first, we're going to start off with the two front dash speakers. I'm going to show you how easy or how hard it is to do those so that you can do the same to your car. And then we're going to progress over the next few weeks into doing the side doors and then putting the subs in. I'm going to show you a few of the obstacles I'm going to be facing. But first, let's roll that intro. All right, so first we're gonna replace the dash speakers. And I bought these Kicker KSC 350, little three and a half inch coaxial speakers to put in place of the stock speakers, which frankly sound horrible. So let's check these things out. All right, so these are really nice, high quality speakers, run about 50 bucks on Amazon. And they've got the three connectors in the back because they come with the crossovers. You've gotta use those with these, which, which just tells me that we're gonna have some nice separation from the mid range and the treble and that's going to change the entire dynamic of the sound system from the front back. Now let's go open up the Prius and see if they actually will fit. All right, so these are the speakers we're going to replace up here in the front corners, kind of like the Dodge Challenger has. Um, a lot of the manufacturers are putting these up there along with the door speakers. So um, I'll let you hear them real quick. Not that I expect this is going to be a good uh, translation over video, but... Let's try it. So here's what's missing, treble. There's like no treble coming from these speakers. And I'm guessing that's because these are the real cheap bass speakers, which are just some paper coned little mid-range speakers with uh, nothing to produce any real significant treble. So what these kickers are gonna do, hopefully, we're gonna find out in a second, is going to deliver a nice rounded treble sound and separation between the mid-range. And when we finally get the doors going, we're gonna have kind of the same thing taking place all the way up until we install the bass and then everything gets brought together. No, I'm not installing a, an amp in this thing. It's already pretty well powered for the stock, for any stock radio. And I just believe just to get a little bit better sound, this will be great. Of course, I will install an amp for the sub, but that'll be in a couple weeks from now because digging around in, under the uh, hood, and I'll show you right now, one of the big challenges I'm gonna have is trying to find out where to run that power wire from the battery. In the older Priuses, you were able to get to the battery from under the back seat. Here, that's a nightmare and the battery's in front. So this is going to be a little bit terrifying, but I am up for the challenge so that I can help all of you do the same thing. And I'm gonna find, find an easy way to do it. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is take off this grate. And I'll tell you, when you see it for the first time, you're gonna think there's no way that thing's coming off. You're gonna think it's connected to all this stuff because I actually did, but um, I've got the instructions from Crutchfield and buying some of these speakers as well from them and the subs from Pacific Stereo that they give you this explanation that you've got to come in here and pry it open from here because um, the two clips are right here and right here and then this is where it slides up under so you've got to get these two clips to come undone. There you go. Might need to try a couple different tools, but definitely use the plastic ones. You see that clip right there? There's another one down here, and everything comes out really easy after that. And there it is. See the little speaker grate? 
And now, let's see if I can stick my head in there. You can see the little paper speaker, and for sure, that is a cheap speaker. So you can use a Phillips head or a socket wrench to get this these things out. So I'm gonna grab my sockets real quick. All right, so this is a 10 millimeter bolt down here. So let's get that thing removed. It doesn't take a lot to get these things out. Just a little turn and a half and they pop right out. So now let's grab, oh gosh, that feels so cheap. Wow, this doesn't even feel like it has a magnet. Nuts. Now there are no adapters for these speakers. There are adapters for the door speakers, which will make things easier. So I'm gonna have to tap into these. And I have, again, the instructions from Crutchfield. Thank goodness they send them with the speakers when you buy them from them. If you buy it from Amazon, you won't get those. So just keep that in mind. All right, removing the plug, there's a little clip right here. Push down and this should pop right out. There we go. And look at that. It doesn't look like any kind of possible speaker plug that exists in the world. You're not gonna have a lot of room to mess around with this. That's as much as it comes out. And we're gonna splice into with the T-taps into the right wires and then get those other speakers installed. But before we go through all that trouble, we're gonna make sure they actually fit. I learned that lesson a long time ago. Let's see if this if the holes will line up. And it looks like whoops. A perfect fit. These are gonna fit perfectly. Look at that. Holes align just fine. Grill will go over the top perfectly. And look at these magnets. So compared to this thing, this is substantial. So much better. All right, so you're gonna love this. So you got this little tiny stub you gotta get to, and you gotta trim away electrical tape. Oh geez. The positive is lavender and pink, and the negative is lavender and violet. I don't know about all of you, but that is all the same shit to me. I mean, lavender, pink, violet, that's all the same shit to me. My whole life, like, as far as I'm concerned, these scissors are lavender, violet, and pink. I, I don't know. So um, I had to actually go to Google and look up. So I am going to go with the negative is going to be the darker purple and the, oh Jesus, this is wonderful. So the positive is lavender and pink. So it's gonna be the lighter of the two. All right, so these T-taps make your life so much easier. You just take one of these little uh, little guys, this thing's already cut and ready to go, slide it in here, grab my wire uh, crimpers, and squeeze like hell. That was my knuckle. Make sure it's nice and tight. Some of you are gonna say, well, you should solder it, and you can, listen, man, you solder it. I'm just, that's tight. Like, that's not going anywhere. That's good. So you've got that side, and then, got this side, with a negative. I'm telling you, that is perfectly tight and perfect connection. Make sure we're good. That's super tight. So these are both solidly, solidly tight. Got this for I don't know, 10 bucks or something, I'll put it in the description below with all the different sizes of T-taps. And then we're gonna take this, two of these, and we're going to crimp them on to those wires. And then we'll just be able to plug everything in and see if it works. And if uh, there's sparks coming from it, then we know that I did something wrong. And I'll end the video now, call it a day. So remember, the positive is the lighter of the two. The lavender and pink. So I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna take this T-tap, put it around here, put that like that, take your pliers and crimp that, whoop, get it nice and squared off. You can see, crimp it together and we are good. That simple, love that. Now, I'm gonna take the other side, do the same thing. I want to position them so that they, they're easy to plug in the other speakers. 
other speaker wires. So, got that there. And then once you get your shit, <laughs> my neighbors are gonna come out screaming. I already know it. What's new? All right. You know what? I'm gonna spin this around, make this easier. On this side. So you know you've got it kinda kinda going right. And just tighten it down. And they crimp together, they snap together, and you're good to go. So remember the positive is the light color. The negative is the darker of the two. I hope. Let's plug these guys all in. Alright, then just take uh this, stick it in there and these things go in really snug and I'm telling you you probably couldn't get them out if you tried that one maybe these not so much all right so here's the deal the outside pink if you're looking at this plug with the clip on the right hand side the outside pink and the inside purple are the right wires don't ask me how I found out because you'd have a heart attack but it's all good. I figured it out for you. So let's go ahead and get this guy put together. All right, so we're good to go. So now we're gonna take the positive, which I'm gonna just make sure positive is the lighter of the two, lavender and pink. Lavender and violet would be negative. All right, lavender and pink, here's the positive. Then you just plug this right in, like so. There we go. So it's not sticking out on either side. Now I'll take this side, do the same thing. Oh. All right, so they are in. So now I'm gonna test this speaker, see if it works. All right, we have got sound. I mean, hopefully you can tell from the speaker on my head that it sounds so much better. It's so much louder as well. I didn't expect it to be that much louder, but it definitely is significantly better, so. All right, so I thought I was done. Was about to do the reveal, and these speakers wouldn't work. Those were dead. The front speakers were gone. Front six and a halfs, I think they are totally gone. The backs were fine. So now that tells me that those four wires there, let me see if it focuses, whoops, those four wires have a purpose because through the stock speaker here, they are all interconnected, which bleed off to those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of these little taps, different kinds, bigger ones, and I'm just going to just get down a little bit lower and splice the two purples together and the two pinks together and then the door speakers will work and everything will sound beautifully or I will have a fire in my car. Now let's put this thing back and I'm gonna go ahead and electrical tape that thing up. I don't know why, it just makes me feel better and then we're gonna stick everything back in there, screw this in and we'll be done with the driver's side. But I don't wanna go hunting in the garage right now. It's nice and tight. We don't have any vibration. All right, so let's put this grate back, and here's how this goes. The two clips are right here and here. So best way is to, when you take it out, to pop it from this side. You can even get in there if you can um, with your pry tool. And then once that comes up, then everything should just come right out. Slide it right back in with those hooks down at the bottom. Push it, snap, and it's done. All right, did the same thing on this side. We're gonna tape this up, put everything back together, and then we're really done. So we got it done, we got the two front dash speakers installed in the 2020 Toyota Prius. A um, couple little snags, um, but anybody could do this now that I figured it out, you could figure it out. You just gotta, those four wires kind of confused me a little bit and there's nowhere I could find really out there that said that's the issue other than just a couple little hints 
um, on the Prius forums. So, um, because nobody's really doing this to 2017-18 uh, or especially a 2020. So hopefully this video will help someone out there upgrade their speakers and in a couple weeks, maybe next weekend, we will jump into the door speakers and work our way back until ultimately this car bursts into flames in my driveway and I have to collect the insurance money. With that said, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next week. Wow, those make a huge difference. I am not kidding. Oh, it sounds so much better. Just those two little front speakers changes so much. Awesome.